So it's Thursday about 5.45. Well, I got these knives. The lady just dropped these knives and these scissors off. And another lady's going to pick them up on Saturday at the market. And she's going to bring me some more knives. This is a... I'm not sure if it's a chef. The original message was from a chef named Angela. And she had 30 knives. And uh, I don't know exactly how many is in here because I haven't gotten them out yet. But we're going to go take a look at them in a second and see how many is in here. And like I said, she's going to bring a few more Saturday morning to the other market and pick these up. Let's go outside and take a look at these. But... Well, also, got to look at some stuff that Beaver found yesterday on a river with Steve, the Gigmeister. Some of y'all may be following Steve. If you are, you already know what I'm going to show you. But he's been carrying Beaver with him, and Beaver's been extraordinarily lucky at finding really nice things, old Civil War things, on this river. Well, yesterday... Steve carried him to several locations, and Beaver found a seven, a two real, a 1781 silver real. He found a, I presume it's a coat button, a New York Civil War New York coat button, and a little star bust, star burst, burst button. And let's see what else he found. You know, he found some sinkers and some other kind of stuff. So they were moving around to another spot on this river. And Beaver found <laughs> Beaver finds a 14K gold band. Now how in the hell a gold band got on this river? No one will ever know. It's a really tiny ring. He brought it by today and showed it to me. I don't know. It won't even fit. It just fits about halfway up my little finger. It's uh, got initials in it in 14K. It's uh, got some design on it. It's a really nice ring, but tiny. I think it said he weighed five grams, five point something grams. And Beaver, uh, and like I said, I'll show you those pictures. But that was that was a hell of a day Beaver had. He gave Steve the mumbles. And then the Mumbles man, he went to the land of the Nile this morning, but uh, he found a big, nice ring. He gave him a nitro, he had to take two pills, but it ended up being a cobalt ring. We don't see many cobalt rings. I found the first one, I think, I've only found one, and I'm pretty sure I found it in 2014. But it may have been 15, but I think it was 14. But his looked like platinum. About a, it looks like a regular wedding band. It's a beautiful ring, but it turned out to be cobalt. And he found some chains and some sunglasses and you know that kind of stuff. That's the only reports I got. He said uh, another guy down there named Jim had, uh, or Jim or one of his buddies had a possibly a gold ring. They were hunting up in the dry sand. You just, one never knows what you're going to find. But you're going to enjoy the back of this. If you haven't seen Steve's video, and of course, if I could, if I could remember to put the link in, I will so you can see it. Those of you who don't follow it. Because it's well worth the, the watching this video. I'll get back to you in a little while. Well, there they are. We got three Wusthos at the top, a small chef's knife, a Santuco, and a small Santuco. And then we got eight Chicago cutlery steak knives, two pair of Chicago cutlery kitchen scissors, and one nice old buck pocket knife. 501. This is a nice ticket right here. Damn. Hey! 
Get over here. It's gelatin. Onion, squash, and corn. Not a skeleton. A fish from Tuesday or Wednesday or yeah, Tuesday. Carnivore. Having dinner. Two carnivores. This one's trying to steal. This one's food. It's thievery. You didn't eat all your supper. What's the matter? What's the matter with my little carnivore? Mm, you hungry? You better finish this. The vultures over here wait for your stuff. Well, there it is. Out of the pan. Fish with wine and butter and olive oil, corn, squash, and onions. And a big old jack. And, and lemon. I forgot she said lemon. On the fish, that is. Mmm. They're looking for cat food. I'm not looking for cat food. I'm looking for chicken. I mean fish. All right, let's get to Beaver's finds yesterday from the river with Steve. There's the there's his nut. You can see his gold ring. You can see his. You can't tell it's a real in this picture. There's a big New York button and the star bus star burst button. Let's go to the next Tikita. There's the star burst button. Anybody wants to comment on that? Please do. And there's the New York State button, and it's big. It's about the size of a nickel in diameter. It's a cool button. He brought it by today and let me look at it. And there's the Real Uncleaned. And uh, he's got a wheat penny at the left-hand corner there. In a bullet. <clears throat> and there's the ring. <coughs> a little teeny ring. That's a not a very good picture of it. That's a crab cake. That's no interest. Hold on. Let me find the uh, the blood better pictures he sent me today. Found them yet? But there's Gigmeister's YouTube. Gold and silver on the menu today. <laughs> Uh, just look that up. That's a hell of a video right there. I'm telling you. Okay, there's Denny's nut from this morning. I can't find Beaver's picture. They must be on my other computer. I'll get them in a minute. He found a little silver bracelet and a cobalt ring and some glass, a pair of glasses and a big earring. I think I got the cobalt ring. He says it's kind of heavy. It's a pretty ticket, isn't it? Cobalt. Oh boy. Millennium ring. Okay, let me go hunt for beaver stuff now. Okay, I got the cleaned up pictures of beavers 2 real. You can see it's 1781. Isn't that something? That thing really cleaned up nice. That's a nice ticket right there, buddy. Well, it's a Friday afternoon. I got my truck 
partially loaded for the knife gig tomorrow at 19th Street, Old Beach Farmer's Market. The grass is calling me. I got to do that next. Chris is getting ready. We're getting ready to go to Ballhead Island this weekend. We're going to leave Sunday and come back Thursday. Ballhead Island. Old Baldy. I'll get you more on that later. Well, the front grass is finished. Getting ready to do the back. Got the grill going. Getting ready to throw the sausages on. Etc. The surf line is buzzing with gold. Platinum. I heard about a 13 gram platinum ring found. I heard the guru and Stan went today, but I don't know uh, what they found other than they called me up and said, are you home? We want to show you some gold we found today. And I told them, no, I wouldn't be home for an hour. But that was five hours ago, so I don't know. I told them, send me a picture of this gold, but I haven't seen it yet. So you know what they say about gold. It ain't gold till you see it. I don't know who found it. Guru's uh, detector's in the shop, but he's been using Stan's. Stan had an Excalibur, and he bought a brand new CTX uh, about a month ago. He's one of them ones that got tied up in that finasco with the three CTXs that everybody paid their money to a certain person, and she crooked them all, never, never got their CTXs, and took 70, 80 days to get their money back. One of them still hadn't got his money back. But that's life sometimes, you know, when you deal with people you think are good character and down the river they go sometimes. I'll uh, keep you in the loop on the gold if I get a picture of it before I finish this video or add it in there. I know we won't get to see the platinum, but I know he found it. A big fat one. <laughs> Daniel Jack, are you thirsty? Good gracious, son. What's the matter with you? You look like a camel in the Sahara. Good God, Jack. Well, I got a call from the guru. He's on his way over with his rings. I told him I had plenty of sausage, plenty of trigger fish. He said, oh, you, you do, huh? <laughs> so the guru is coming over to have some dinner. He showed me the rings. He said, they're not gold, though. They're silver. Or something. We'll know in a few minutes. Guru's having some dinner. I hope we got enough light here. Guru found a great big fat clad daddy ring with Celtic band on it. I never seen one quite this, this fancy. Clad daddy with a with a crown. And that, that means something, but I don't know what that means. You clad daddy people sound off and tell me what the crown means. They all got crowns, don't get me wrong, but this one's got a fancy crown on it. Well, you want those. And he found a blinger. <laughs> and another blinger. You say you checked this with not gold? Oh, I see, the, I see the stuff's coming off of it now, yeah. I just assumed it. Glad daddy. Dry sand stuff, he said. He found it all in the dry sand. Okay, Guru, you got a three ring day. And he found a Yankees bottle opener. I should have called Audrey and asked. How much clad do you find? Two dollars worth of clad? Trigger fish. Two fifty. Mm. Oh, yeah, probably two. Well, not count the pennies, two fifty. Everybody's been begging for their supper. Yeah, I have a four and eight, about ten quarters, and I 